Hello, I'm Paul on the Kawhi Grimes. George Clooney and Julia Roberts are really good friends off screen with infectious chemistry on screen. It was only a matter of time before they start in a rom-com together. Their new film, Ticket to Paradise, is in theaters, and I want to talk about it. This is Paul's trip to the movies. They star as Georgia and David Cotton, two college sweethearts who had a daughter but eventually parted ways five years into their relationship. They were never married, but now these quarreling exes are forced to reunite when their daughter Lily, who's played by Caitlin Deaver, is graduating law school. Now, after their quick weekend together as a family, they go their separate ways with Lily heading to Bali for a little vacation. Georgia and David are forced to come together all over again when they receive an email that Lily is now set to marry her boyfriend after only knowing him for 37 days. The frantic parents will stop at nothing to try to stop the wedding and bring Lily back to America. The film also stars Billy Lord as Lily's best friend and Maxime Boutier as Lily's new fiancé, Gade. Ticket to Paradise is written and directed by Ol Parker, who made the best exotic Marigold Hotel movies and Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again. Now, he certainly knows how to shoot a luscious vibe out of a tropical paradise, and this film certainly acts as that mental escape after a long day. There's an easiness about this movie that never takes itself too seriously, but also doesn't try to elevate its two leads or try to do anything different with them. Parker's concept of quarreling axes in the middle of the Bali jungle essentially writes itself. We see them accidentally sat next to each other on the plane, with rooms next to each other at the resort, and other physical comedy routines that just come with jungle antics. Clooney and Roberts have really great banter and rapport, allowing their chemistry just naturally flow between them. They can play into their brands, with Clooney relying on the charm and the humor, while Roberts gets to be bubbly but always in control. Now, another piece of this puzzle is that Georgia is actually dating Paul, a French pilot who is much younger than her. He's played by Emily in Paris star Lucas Bravo. He's wonderful, but the script never really allows them to be a serious couple. I never felt that pull for Georgia as to whether she would rather be with her ex David or with Paul. Now, the trailers for this movie may be a little bit deceiving, as this isn't a movie that's solely a George Clooney, Julia Roberts rom-com. It's just as much about the Caitlin Deaver character, who is giving up her life as a new lawyer uh, to be engaged with Gade and live in Bali full-time. This story is just as much of a focus as the other one. It's really wonderful to hear the language and the culture of Bali be such a big part of this movie. But I couldn't help but feel like this was almost two separate movies that then couldn't decide which uh, narrative was stronger or more appealing. Now, I may be getting too picky for a movie like Ticket to Paradise. It's still worth a watch for George Clooney and Julia Roberts fans to just have them on screen again. I just wish it may have been in a different movie. It would have been fun to see them in an Nancy Myers rom-com. Her films like Something's Gotta Give, uh, It's Complicated, or even The Holiday have big A-listers, but found a new way to tap into one, each one of their stars. I'm giving Ticket to Paradise 3 out of 5 ticket subs. If you like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel. I get some of their movie reviews, as well as my appearances on Toy Nest Cities Live. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, at Paul's Movie Trip, and then go to my website, paulstriptothemovies.com, for even more reviews. Thank you so much for watching my review of Ticket to Paradise. This is Paul's Trip to the Movies.